All right, welcome back to the One Bar and Love Again Show. I'm One Bar. In this episode, we're talking about the top five hottest names linked to the Vikings at pick 11. I went through about 25 to 30 of the top, top mock drafts out there. Spent more time than I'm comfortable with coming up with this list. But these are the top five guys, and we need to get familiar with them because chances are one of these guys could be wearing that beautiful shade of purple. Before we get into it, remember, subscribe to the channel, like the video here every damn day, talking Vikings draft for agency. So hit that sub trying to get to 12,000 before the draft. Uh, one thing is clear. The Vikings are that team this year in the draft. You always have that one team, usually in the top 15, where nobody has any idea what they're going to do. And they are the ones. I mean, you, you see the teams in the top 10 who needs the quarterbacks, who need the receivers, who need the offensive tackles. They're easy to peg. The Vikings are not easy to peg. There was a wide, wide assortment, but there was a clear top five that we're going to go through and let's start off with I'm going to let you know how I would feel about every one of these damn picks and coming in at number five is the edge rusher Dallas Turner if you've been paying attention to any mock drafts you know that Dallas Turner is a pretty hot name to the Vikings really any edge rusher and spoiler alert he is not the only edge rusher on this list Dallas Turner would be absolutely thrilled to get him at pick 11. We need an edge rusher. He's got a, a very high ceiling. Um, yeah, he needs to bulk up a little bit, but what he's done at Alabama, he's a plug-and-play type of guy, which hopefully all these guys are. Um, he's a plug-and-play guy. Put him opposite of Daniil Hunter. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Very high ceiling, uh, and I love it. And and he was mocked to the Vikings quite a damn bit. The number four one is uh, is one that, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. Cooper DeGene. Cooper DeGene. I mean, I was I was very surprised for how many people had Cooper DeGene going to the Minnesota Vikings. And usually it was the first corner off the board. This was before an Arnold, before a Wiggins. So uh, very surprised. My question is, where the hell do we play this guy? No, um, I mean, we, we have Josh Metellus, who's kind of that jack-of-all-trades type of defensive back. Put him at safety, put him in the box, put him up at slot. Cooper DeGene seems like that guy you'd kind of move all over the place as well. So I don't know if they would just straight up put him at a safety, straight up cornerback. Uh, I, I love Cooper DeGene. I don't know how much I love him in pick 11. I wouldn't mind trading back and get him a little bit. But um, it's more of a fit for me. Like, where does this guy play? I think he's going to be damn good in the NFL. I think he's going to be one of those rookies right out of the gates. He's like, damn, this dude is making plays. He's very athletic. He's a playmaker. He's a punt returner. So I could see this guy on all rookie teams, no doubt about it. I just don't know where he fits with the Vikings, and I don't know how I feel taking him over some of the top corners in the draft. Uh, so that was that was a pretty big surprise to me. Number three, Byron Murphy. This shouldn't be a surprise to anybody. One of the top defensive linemen in the draft. Uh, Vikings need defensive line. Again, where does he fit in, in our 3-4? Do you put him on at the end? Uh, he seems like he's a little too small to put him right in the middle. So Byron Murphy, dude, ripped it up at Texas. Very powerful, good against the run, can get after the quarterback. I'm sure Brian Flores would have no issues finding out where he fits. But at pick 11, is this a guy that's going to be out on the field uh, enough to justify the pick? Or do you wait till round two and take a big boy like Sweat, throw him in the middle? So Byron Murphy, Newton, saw, saw Newton going to the Vikings quite a bit. He did not make this list, spoiler alert. But Byron Murphy is a hot name, but also a name that's kind of all over the boards. Let's go to number two, Layatu Latu from UCLA, the edge rusher. What can I say? We all know, we all know Latu. He just finds a way to get to the quarterback. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter which way he's going. Up the gut, outside, he's got the moves, and he just gets to the quarterback. Everything you read about him, yes, the medical concerns, but I don't think that's a concern anymore. It's not for me. He's played two years of football, damn good football. Uh, we'll see. Come come draft time, weeks before, if all of a sudden everyone's like whispering, oh man, injury, blah, 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 he's going to fall into like round five. I don't think so. I do think he will be on the board at pick 11. If we took him, I'd be all for it. Like I said with Dallas Turner, we need edge, edge, edge. And speaking of edge, yes, Jared Verse is the hottest name linked to the Vikings at pick 11. And it really wasn't close. Far and away, the most mock drafts of Jared Verse going to the Vikings and I love it. Verse could have came out last year. It would have been a first-round pick, no doubt about it. He goes in final year at Florida State, gets a little extra seasoning, works on those moves. He's a man amongst boys. When you compare him next to Latu and Turner, I mean, it's just body, his strength. He's ginormous. And I and everybody says he's got the lowest, lowest floor. Lowest floor. So has the best chance of not being a bust and just being damn good. And I think that's what he'll be. I think consistently every year he'll be that 8-12 to 12 sack type of guy where maybe in a couple of years, Latu and Turner, maybe their ceiling's a little bit higher. But right out of the gates, Jared Verse coming in, day one starter. 
like Cooper DeGene, I could see this guy just, he's so pro ready. He's going to be on all the all rookie teams just because he's going to come out and do good. And yes, we don't care about all rookie teams. I'm just saying that he is ready day one. And again, opposite Daniil Hunter. Ooh, damn it. I would love Jared Verse. I honestly don't think he's going to be there at 11. I think like the Falcons are going to take him or somebody's going to trade up to get Jared Verse. I think he will be the top edge rusher off the board. Fills at 11. My pants might hit the floor. I'd be very, very excited. But those are the top five. Uh, there was some gross ones, like I said. Gross. Someone had us taking Bo Nix straight up at 11. Uh, there was some Penixes. I know how a lot of people feel about him at 11. There was some random stuff, but these are the top five hottest names linked to the Vikings. Let me know in the comments which one of these tickle your fancy, if any of them. As you can see, all defense. All defense. All the mock drafters have Vikings. Improving that defense.